Welcome back everybody, my name is RC. Now, we worked on setting up graphics on this, we've modified some CSS. Now I wanna spend some time talking about how to be able to create some links that go to separate pages. Pretty straightforward, let's go ahead and cover it. The first thing that I wanna do is I wanna talk about how to be able to set up an external link. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come over here to the end of this dummy text and I'm gonna type in, click here to go to Google. Now, easiest way for you to do this would be to just highlight this area and notice down here you have a section called link. If you click on this, you can just type in the full URL, http colon slash slash www.google.com. Now, if you hit the enter key, you'll notice now you have a link that goes to Google, but it's that orange link. So I'm gonna wanna change that a little bit. I'm gonna go to CSS styles and inside of the CSS styles, I want to be able to change that anchor tag. Notice that it's orange. I'm going to change that to a yellow. Now that's pretty much all set. Let's go ahead and do a save, and I'm going to preview this in Safari. I'll go ahead and I'll save that, and you'll notice that if you click on this, you automatically go to Google. Now I'm going to close this. Not bad. Now, from here, what if I wanted this to be able to open on a separate page? To have it open on a separate page, just highlight it. Notice that you have a section here that says Google. From there, I wanna be able to set the target. This area right here lets me pop this into a new window. Clicking on this, I can go ahead and select blank, and that'll pop that into a new window. I'll go ahead and save that. I'm gonna end preview in Safari. Now notice if I click on this link, it opens it in a separate window, straightforward. Now, I'm gonna close this and I'm gonna come back to this page. What if I wanna be able to link, instead of to an external, I wanna to link to an internal page. How do I do that? To do that, let's go ahead and set up a page. Now, I have a section here called aboutus.htm. So that's done for me. I wanna take this link that's here and I wanna make sure that that goes to that about us. So easiest way for me to do that is highlight and I can just click on the browse section and go to the about us, select this and click choose. Straightforward. Now, there isn't anything in the about us. So I'm gonna open this real quick and just type in, this is the about us page. Save that, close that, back to this page. Let's go ahead and test it. We'll save the files, and now if I click, this is the About Us page. So there's our internal link, but there's other ways to do this as well. I'm gonna close this back into Dreamweaver. Now, I'm gonna take the file section and I'm gonna just drag this and bring this out because I wanna show you something. Having this set outward, let's just say that I wanna be able to go to the contact page, and I don't have a contact page set up here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna right click, I'm gonna make a new file, and I'm gonna call it contact.htm. If I want this link to go to the contact page, all I'd have to do is just highlight that, and notice this here where we have a link, we just have a pound sign which doesn't link to anything. You have right here a pick whip. You can go ahead and single click on this pick whip and having that files window open, you can select, drag it to the contact and let it go. That creates a link to the contact page. Let's save it and test it. We'll come over here, we'll preview in Safari. And now if you go to contact, notice that you're at contact.htm. Go back, you're back on the regular page. You can also do this with images. Let's get and close this, we'll come back to this page. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna, right here, I'm gonna hit the enter key, and I'm just gonna put an empty space and I'll go to the port images folder that I have and to put an image onto a page, all you have to do is really just click, drag, let it go. So I'm gonna call this small image for an alternate text. I'm gonna click okay. There's my image. This is a small image that I have at 240 pixels. That's what the underscore 240 does. And whenever I work with images, I always put an underscore and the size of them rather than small or thumbnail because it gives me a good way to quickly know what the size of the page is, or the size of the image is. I haven't talked about the linking though yet. To link, 
all I have to do is go to the link tag right here, having this highlighted. Again, use the pick whip, go to the image one, and since I want this to open in a new window, I can just click on target, blank, and now I'm gonna hit save. I'll go ahead and I'll preview this in Safari. Now if I click, brings up the picture in a new window. Now, there's only one more left, and that happens to be the anchor. Take a look at this. I'm gonna come down here to the bottom, and I'm gonna hit the enter key, and from there, what I'll do is I'm gonna put in some more dummy text. I'll put in, let's say, five paragraphs of dummy text, or well, six. There I have some dummy text, and I need to apply that style, so I'm gonna click, and I'm gonna highlight and drag all the way down here, and I'll apply that main text, or that main copy style. So now I have all of this copy. And at the bottom of the paragraph, I'm just going to type in here, this is the bottom. And I'll highlight all of this. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply, oh, let's go ahead and highlight it correctly. We'll apply the heading tag. Now that's the bottom. I want to create a link here that says go to the bottom. So maybe what I'll do is I'll actually put it here. Put an interspace, and now I'll put click here to get to the bottom. So this is gonna link to the bottom of the page. First thing to do is we'll go over here to this section called the bottom, right? And we're gonna call this, we're gonna give it what's called an anchor. Under the insert menu, I'm gonna go to named anchor. From there, I can just give it a name, bottom. Notice that it puts a little anchor tab right there. You're not gonna be able to see that, but this is just kind of a visual reminder that that's the bottom. So it's A, pound sign, bottom. Now you can go to the top here, single click and drag to highlight that. And once I have it highlighted, I'm just gonna scroll down. It's still highlighted up there. I can use the pick whip, drag it on top of that anchor. There's the bottom. Now watch, if I save, I can click and preview. And now if I click here to get to the bottom, it brings me to the bottom of the page. Now notice that the footer seems to be in the way. So that's because this page is running a little bit bigger than where the footer is. So what I'm gonna do to fix that is I'm gonna go back over to the CSS styles and in the container tab, I'm gonna get rid of the height. So I'm gonna make that blank. I'm also going to have to go to the CSS styles here for that main content area, and I want to make sure that I get rid of this height here as well. Once I have that, I'm going to save this, and then I'm going to go and I'm going to preview in Safari, saving all of the files, and I'm going to do a refresh. Now notice I drag, and now the bottom shows up at the very bottom. If I click here to get to the bottom, it brings me to an area where we see the bottom. So, those are a couple of different ways for you to be able to work with adding graphics, putting links, and having the links go to internal pages, external pages, anchors, and external pages popping new windows. My name is RC. Thanks for watching.